Coach, you and I, before we started the interview, I asked you about last week and just kind of forgetting it. And it really is something you have to do, not only as a, as a team, but a program. Just put that thing behind you. Think about the conference now. Oh, most definitely. I mean, you, you have to have a short memory. Um, and uh, with, with a lot of kids, our, this day and age, they have a short memory yeah. anyway. But, uh, but you know, when they put in all that time and effort all summer and this and that, and, and, and they invest as much as they do, uh, sometimes it's hard for some of them to... To, to move on, but that you just have to. I mean, you don't have any choice. I, you know, uh, you know. I, I thought last week we we fought hard to the end. The New Pal is a much better ball club than we were. You know, we didn't we did we did some things that didn't help us and gave them the short turnovers and gave them the short field and the score got out of hand and that. But but you know, really the the big scheme of things, we just need to come back, regroup, uh, learn from the mistakes that we. Uh, could control last week and uh, and just move on and, and move forward. You know, we're excited about uh, having an opportunity to get back on the winning side of things here at home and, and starting a, a league play against a, a new NCC opponent. So, uh, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll we, uh, make strides and, and are able to have a better week this week. You know, Coach, I, I guess you kind of related to that's a quiz, now the test really begins. and that, Because that's why you play the preseason, right? Yeah, I mean, I, not, not that... Uh, I wouldn't put the first two games as a preseason necessarily, but it's it's non-conference, yeah. uh, and and that's obviously why we, you know, choose to to play the level of competition with New Pal as we do. It's it's non-conference and uh, just kind of you know see what's going on and uh, and where we're at. But but yes, obviously I think uh, you know when you look at the overall team goals that we have every year, it, it's being up near the top of the conference or winning the conference and then then after that becomes making a run in the sectional so uh yeah and right now in the big scheme of things we're one and one out of conference but now we're starting our conference schedule so um uh, you know not exactly the real season as opposed to preseason but now it counts and, and now we're moving forward you know, last week people say, where did you find some bright spots? And I'll ask you where there were some bright spots because I thought there were some areas where you did some nice things. And, boy, the way you started out the game, Claiborne returning another yeah. one for a touchdown. Boy, now that everybody's kicking it away from him. Yes. That, I mean, we're, we're going to have to start, uh, you know, uh, figuring out how, how we're going to take advantage of that. You know, obviously uh, two games in a row opening kickoff, we run it back for a touchdown and then, uh, and then they kick away from him the rest of the week uh, or rest of the the game. Um, so you know, obviously our special teams is a bright point. Um, you know, I, I think there were some uh, a few flashes on offense of, of doing some things okay, and uh, and honestly on on defense there were some flashes of doing some good things too. And you know, he said, well, how can there be positives with scoring seventy two points? But you know, when you look at the game, that it was just one of those things where. Uh, I mean, they are a great ball club, and and they made plays. I mean, one uh, one play was uh, fourth and thirty five, yeah. uh, or goal to go from the thirty five yard line. The kid drops the, the 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 ball and runs around and ends up throwing a touchdown pass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and there were a couple of those things that happened. So you know, obviously there were reasons why they got to that situation. Now you know, ultimately they did capitalize and they scored on it, which isn't a good thing. But the fact that they were in that position, so they're, I mean, it wasn't all negatives, uh, and and I think the kids are able to uh, put that game in perspective, um, uh, and and like I said, just excited about moving on and and, and trying to uh, get that bad taste out of our mouth. Yeah, that read option is hard to defend, though, isn't it? I mean, because that Neely is so good at running it, and you just never know if he's going to hand it off or take it himself. Yeah, uh, I mean, the kid does a phenomenal job running the ball. Uh, I mean, and man, he for a quarterback, he is a hard runner. He's hard to bring down. Um, yeah, I mean, it, they, and they do a lot of different things. It, it all kind of looks the same, but if you break it down on film, there's there's three or four different little blocking schemes, little things that uh, that make it difficult because you, you know you think that okay. You know, let's we're going to tr uh, get the end to come come down this time. Well, okay. Well, this time they're they're blocking him and kicking him out, and yeah. and and, uh, and or utilizing his aggressiveness against him. So, um, yeah, they, they just do a nice job. I mean, there's a reason why they're number one in five A. They're the reason why they're the returning state champ, and uh, and uh, you know we're trying to be that type of uh, program. You bet, coach. This week. As you said, a new opponent, really don't know too much about them overall. I mean, they've had some good years. When you look back over their record, they've put together some wins. 
Coach Anderson brings in a team that's given up 60-some points in the first two games. What do you see in the Titans this week? Well, I, you know, they're, they're I, in some regards, I think they're a lot like us. They're a young team. They play some young guys as we do. Um, you know, they're giving up 60-some points. Well, that's Ben Davis, number yeah. one in 6A. Um, <laughs> You know, as you know, comparable to our game last week against number one in five A. Uh, you know, Kokomo uh, is, is kind of a you know last week Kokomo put up big numbers on them, and that's kind of an, an anomaly from the standpoint that you know what Kokomo runs, nobody does that, so it it, it it's hard to get a true indication of uh, of them defensively. Right. Uh, and and it is an interesting week coming in. You know, yeah, we got film, and you can look at film, but it, it, it they are an unknown commodity. Yeah. You know, we just don't know as a program uh, the makeup of them and that. Now, you know, there's one thing that we have seen on, on, on film that they are they, they are getting better week by week. Uh, and, uh, you know, you can see the, the adjustments the coaches are making in, in those games. So, uh, you know, I, I think they have a pretty good staff. They have some skilled kids. Um uh, they're they're a little bit uh, lean on the on the line, similar to us right. as well. So, you know, we're going to have to go in and, and be ready to play and and uh, you know be aggressive and and uh, you know hopefully come out on the good end. Yeah, you speaking of the skill people, I think they have like four or five receivers, a running back, the quarterback is back from last year too. So they've got a core there. Yeah, they have a core. They they run a little bit of a uh, two quarterback system as well. One kid runs better than the other, and the other kid throws better. So. Uh, they do definitely have some weapons, and, and uh, you know we're going to have to tackle better this week than we did last week, and and, and uh, you know just get some stops when when we need to. We always finish out talking about injuries because that's something that is part of the game. I mean, bottom line, that is it. <laughs> is Bowersock done for the year? What what's the word on him right now? Um, right now he is he will not be playing this week. Okay, uh, and we'll just leave it at that. Okay. and uh, you know as far as some of the other kids that. Uh, we're dinged up. Um, they're about as healthy as they have been. So, uh, you know, we're we're feeling health wise. We're we're feeling okay coming into this week. You know, before I let you go, I, a couple of those kids were banged up going into last last week the game. You got to give them credit because they gutted that thing out, didn't they? Oh, definitely. I mean, I, you know, they you know they they gutted it out. Um, you know, when when things kind of got out of hand a little bit, you you would hope that you would have some some uh, other kids to put in but in some areas that we talk about how, how thin we are that, that they just didn't have a choice they they just had play That's right. uh, and so that was you know uh, you know as we talk about positives that come out of last week that I mean that's another thing the fact that our kids continue to fight they didn't uh, um, you know a lot of times in this day and age kids have a tendency to turn on each other when things go bad they didn't turn on each other they continue to play uh, and, you know, kids that were dinged up played to the best of their ability, and that's all we can ask from them. Coach, good luck tonight. Great, thank you.